Hey everybody, this is Doug Slack with Canadian Slackers and I've been thinking about putting this video for uh, a little bit now just uh, as a, a basic understanding of what you might need um, when, you're, when you're dealing with some basic electrical troubleshooting whether you're an apprentice, whether you're uh, a homeowner or, or, or somebody that's just uh, has some small projects at home to, to do with electrical. Um, some of the tools that you may need uh, that, that I use are some pretty basic ones. Usually when I go to a house to troubleshoot, I carry a pouch and a drill and a multimeter. So when you go into troubleshooting or dealing with stuff at your house or anything that you're dealing with with electrical, whether it's receptacles, switches, stuff like that, and you're just trying to maybe replace receptacles, switches, you're going to need some basic tools. One, you're going to want strippers. Two, probably some side cutters, ones that you can use to cut some wire. A pair of linemen or pliers that you can twist your wires up with uh, when, you're, when you're dealing with putting your wires together. I generally have in my pouch an X-Acto knife just in case you got some bigger wires that your strippers don't, aren't, aren't easily usable for. Flatheads are definitely important. Uh, you, see, you tend to use flatheads for almost anything whether it's putting on lock rings or bashing out knockouts or just taking off cover plates. This is always a needed tool. Outside of my basic pouch, I mean this is just basically used to carry stuff around, carry those tools around so that when I go into a job I can have everything together. But other than that, I mean you can carry it, you don't need a pouch, but it's handy to keep stuff uh, somewhat in order when you're going into a place and carrying it around. I mean. Next is probably a drill, whether it's, I have a battery one here, but if you have a corded one, that is uh, uh, good too. But I mean, when, it, when you're doing stuff on a regular, battery operated ones are, are nice, um, just so that it's nice and handy. You don't have to worry about that as long as your batteries are charged. Multimeters, this is always good. Uh, that way you can check, you know, your, your voltages, your, your, uh, continuity on wires, uh, some things that you, that you may need to do, but um, mainly to check your voltage to make sure you have the power you needed, your voltage that you needed at, at the plugs and at your switches. Um, this, is a, this is a small tool that, that I use, um, but pretty handy. It, it's basically, it's called a tick, I call it a tick tester. You, it, it allows you to see if there's voltage in the wire just by touching the side of it, it'll start ringing. Um, it's handy for testing switches, testing plugs. You stick it in there and you can turn breakers off and stuff like that to, to see if it's ringing and, and it's easy way to find out if it's turned on or turned off. Um, outside of that, I mean, I carry stuff. <laughs> Car hearts are awesome because you can carry lots of things in it. You carry your basic tools, you know, Sharpies, pencils. Uh, you know, I got, a, I got another screwdriver. It's a flathead as well. Flatheads seem to be the, the trend that you, you use all the time. Um, but, I mean, I carry pencils. I carry other bits in my pocket. Um, but you don't, I mean, you don't need it. As long as you have one of each, it's, it's always nice to have, you know, a Robertson. If you're in Canada, I'm, I mean, they use Torx and, and Phillips and stuff like that down in the States. But using a Phillips bit... Or, or some Robertson bits. They're always handy for removing your receptacles because those are the size of screws. Uh, I believe it's a green green Robbie or a number two Robbie that uh, uh, takes out most of the uh, screws in, in receptacles and stuff. So yeah, if you're looking to do some electrical or stuff around your home and, and you know, you're, you're a little bit not sure what to do or what you need, those are some basic hand tools that are good to have if you're planning on doing those projects. So yeah, if uh, hope 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 this all uh, helps you out and will make your life a little bit easier if you do take the the time to do your own electrical.